Hello and welcome to episode 24 of the Alex Nunemaker Mortgage Podcast for the week of November 21st, 2022. In market news, like all of you, a common question that I get from people is, hey, um, what's going on with the market? What's going on with home prices? Are they cratering? What's going on? And rather than just kind of give a vague answer, I wanted to arm you with a few statistics that I think are pretty interesting, particularly in light of all the doom and gloom in the media that we know that our clients are seeing. So let's break it down to just simple supply and demand. Let's look at demand first. So the new home sales report came out showing that signed contracts on new homes rose 7.5% in October. And at the same time, the MBA shows mortgage purchase applications, so mortgage applications, were up 3% last week. Now, does that have to do with rates easing? I think so. Now, what I think that we have here is simmering demand. Anecdotally, I know I've talked to a lot of people who feel like they just need to see rates improve a little bit before they feel good about purchasing a home. So just getting down into 6% really changed people's outlook and how they felt about you know, home purchasing. So you know my stance on interest rates. I think that as inflation eases, and we've seen this, that mortgage rates are going to go down with them. And there's a lot of indicators that are showing that as these inflation reports come out, the comparisons get easier, you're going to see the bond market feel a lot better and mortgage rates follow. Now let's look at supply. So from that same new home sales report, they show 8.9 months of supply. But this doesn't mean that there's actually 8.9 months supply of homes that you could just move into. This could be a dirt lot, a home with just a foundation or bare framing. If you strip out those from the report and you just look at new homes that are actually complete, something that a client could really move into, it's 13% of that figure or 1.2 months of supply. So let's put these two things together. If you have low supply, we know that you know supply and inventory has come up a little bit, but still a far cry from normal levels, and you have demand that's been at least momentarily quelled due to higher rates, Well, what happens when they come down? This could very well lead us back into a tight or very tight market. So doom and gloom is out there. And I think there's a lot of buyers who are thinking that they're just going to wait for this huge dip or the market to crash, so to speak. And that might not be coming. What we can do, though, as a uh, informed professional is to present statistics like this to paint an accurate picture of what we can see on the horizon. For the next section, I don't want to do mortgage news. It is Thanksgiving week, so I wanted to say what I am thankful for. I wanted to say thank you to you. Anybody who is listening to this podcast, uh, every one of you who has listened to this podcast uh, over the last six months, this episode marks the six month uh, mark. I've truly appreciated the words of encouragement, the helpful advice, or just reaching out and say, hey, I like this episode this week, or hey, you mentioned the statistic or this bit of news, can you let me know more about it? You know, it's my hope that this podcast is a short way to keep you informed because I know that if you are informed, then our clients can be informed. And if you think about it, how lucky are we to be in this business where we can make such a positive impact in someone's life? Finally, rather than having a quote, I wanted to have a challenge. I don't have a quote this week. Instead, I want you to reach out to someone that maybe you've lost contact with over the years, maybe over COVID. Let them know how much that you love them. Let let them know that you're thinking about them. And I I think what we'll find is that you're never going to regret, regret showing someone that you care. Have a great week. If I can help you or any of your clients with any questions or pre-approvals, let me know. They can visit me at homeloanswithalex.com. Have a great week.